They tell us that we come from the stars and we also come from the sun. We were all energy at one time. And so from that energy, we became who we are. I want to greet you by my Navajo reading word, Yate. Yate is a cosmic word and it acknowledges uh, the Earth is a, a participant of a much bigger universe. We depend on the sun for guidance. He is our guiding light, like a father would be, which is why we call it Shitha, meaning our father or someone that is above us. He will go through certain changes as well, and so we observe his movement as well as his power. The sun is a huge part of who we are, and, and we tend not to acknowledge that anymore because of just how fast-paced we are. Um, so a sense of direction, you know, this way ha ah shada ah e ah na kons ne asni and ya asni. So establishing yourself and and where where you stand in between na uh, san our Mother Earth and ya dechil the sky. Even the greatest powerful thing in our universe, our Father, the Sun, has to die. And so that's when we call upon today as the solar eclipse. And so the sun, we call it Johanna E Daz Our father, the sun, dies. Our elders tell us that the sun, the moon, and the earth, they go through constant renewal by aligning themselves. The sun rebalances itself also whenever that eclipse happens. So when you think about eclipses, it's um, like, it depends on the tribe you're talking to. So if, you, if you're thinking about Navajo, the thoughts are it's part, of, it's part of the natural order. And unlike some other tribes, Navajos have very traditional protocol that involves the eclipse and part of it is this whole idea of reverence and respect for what's happening in the sky. According to our elders, it has an effect. The eclipse has an effect on everything. Hey, so yeah, and so traditionally Navajos would come in from the outdoors, come into their hogans or homes, and they would sit very silently in reverence. You wouldn't eat, you wouldn't drink, and many, many traditional peoples follow that today. It's a, it's a movement that you're reverent and you're honoring that. We have to be holy, which means we have to behave and be respectful. If it was a sun eclipse, then we would have to close all the windows, and it can also affect you by your stomach and eyes. The Ned people are told they can't move, only sit still until the sun and moon come apart. Traditionally, the medicine people, again, we would be singing these rebirth songs after the eclipse, but during the eclipse, like Layla explained, we wouldn't, we wouldn't eat, we wouldn't, um, uh, we're well behaved, and, and certain protocols are, are, are in place to where, um, you know, we're just very mindful, and you, you have to be in a holy place, in a holy pla uh, state of mind. <laughs> Some eat, 
I know that a lot of scientists say those poor Navajos, they can't look at the eclipse. But today, everybody has their own way of doing things. We have glasses that have been developed that people long ago didn't have. Navajos already knew that you couldn't look at the sun during the eclipse because it would hurt your eyes. Today, it's up to the families and it's up to the individuals. And whatever they do, we respect them because they all have their own ways of reverence for this idea of the renewal of life. And so we, we, we are looking forward to the, um, the eclipse. It's going to die and it's going to be reborn. And in the process of that, will be cleansing. And we will also go through cleansing. When we talk about clientships and relationships, the kids think that it's only between a person and a person. And so we try to take it beyond that, you know, the, the earth is your mother, the sky and the universe is your father, and then the moon is our grandfather, and then other things like our home, this home is our mother, and the fire is our grand. So we develop all these relationships with uh, other things that go beyond just human to human relationships. And so that's to establish, you know, respect. Um, you know, the respect for earth, respect for the sky, and, and so we, we try to take it beyond that, that relationship exists beyond just a human. <laughs>